Why isn't the Trinidad and Tobago International Airport named the Dr. Eric Williams Airport? Why not? Mm. You see, that's deep. Because in Guyana, you land at the Chady Jagan International Airport. Either the first president, first prime minister, first premier. In Grenada, you land at the Maurice Bishop Airport. In St. Kitts, you land at the Robert L. Bradshaw International Airport. In St. Vincent, you land at the E.T. Joshua Airport. In Antigua, you land at the V.C. Bird Airport. In Barbados, you land at the Grantley Adams Airport. In Jamaica and Kingston, you land at the Norman Manley Airport. In Montego Bay, you land at the Donald Sangster Airport. But in Trinidad, you land in Piaco. What does that mean? Even in Tobago, you land at the A.N.R. Robinson International Airport. But in Trinidad, our airport is still called Piaco because there's this fear that if you name it after Dr. Eric Williams, it won't reflect all of the races and all the ethnic groups that African people have to be so quiet about their own consciousness and silence their own selves and censor their own minds and put our heroes in the back because we're so afraid of offending other races and other ethnic groups with our consciousness when we need our consciousness as a bridge toward our liberation for movements and causes like reparations. And that is why when you look at Trinidad and Tobago, and I love and admire all of our national heroes, but when you ask who are the national heroes of Trinidad and Tobago, people answer Brian Lara, Dwight York, Hazley Crawford, Penny Kamisiong, Wendy Fitzwilliams. We name sports persons, footballers, cricketers, beauty queens. But in Jamaica, the Act of Parliament identified seven main national heroes and five out of the seven were freedom fighters for African people. Enslaved Africans who rose up in revolution and slayed the slave masters and took their freedom. Paul Bogle, Queen Nanny, Samuel Sharp, Marcus Garvey. Those are the national heroes. How come Kwame Touré isn't a national hero in Trinidad? How come there's no highway, no road, no building, no institution named after Kwame Ture? The only thing that's named after Kwame Ture in this country is the Kwame Ture Education Center, which was built by us, the Nation of Islam, under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan through the Black Agenda Project Organization. So we built the Kwame Ture Education Center. Kwame Ture is one of the greatest national heroes to ever grace Trinidad and Tobago, but he's not even acknowledged, name never even mentioned. You cannot go to Jamaica without hearing about Marcus Garvey. His knowledge, his ideology, and his philosophy has inspired how they live as a nation as far as loving themselves as a people is concerned. But we are afraid Africans. We don't want to offend anyone. How poor, how pitiful, how pathetic.